Skill 2. Choose answers with synonyms. Synonym. It is a word or phrase that has the same or exact meaning as another word or phrase. They can be found in nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and prepositions, among other parts of speech. What are synonyms used for? Synonyms have two main applications, which we'll go into more detail about below. Using synonyms might help you select the term that best expresses what you're trying to say. To prevent using the same word too frequently, synonyms are important. You must pay close attention to the spoken words, body language, and emotions. Based on the dialogue, you will search for appropriate synonyms. This skill is based on choosing the synonym of what it was said. You have to pay attention to the words, actions, and feelings, and based on the conversation, you will look for the synonyms of what it was asked. In other words, the answer to the question is a synonym of what it was discussed. On the recording you hear, Woman, why is Barbara feeling so happy? Man, she just started working in a real estate agency. Narrator, what does the man say about Barbara? The crucial words begun and worked in this discourse refer to the beginning and the beginning of, respectively. Therefore, selection B is the most appropriate response to this question. Skill 3. Avoid similar sounds. A word it is considered a homophone if it has the same sound as another word but a distinct spelling or meaning. The words flower and flower are homophones since they have the same pronunciation, but you can't bake a cake with daffodils. The problematic words known as homophones have the same sound but different spellings and meanings. Homophones like there there and there are common. Although the fact that they all have the same sound, they all have different usages and meanings. This skill is based on don't select similar sounds, that's a trick. Usually, the more familiar sound the words in short dialogues, the more different is the meaning of what the recording really mean. On the recording you hear, Woman, why couldn't Mark come with us? Man, he was searching for a new apartment. Narrator, what does the woman say about Mark? The dialogue's final line's crucial words are searching and apartment. The words research and church in answers C and D seem like search, hence the answers are untrue. The phrases department and appointment sound like apartments in replies A and D, hence these responses are false. Therefore, response B is the optimal response. Skill 4. Draw conclusions about who, what, where. Drawing conclusions, it is the process of giving meaning to unclear information by using information that is hinted or inferred. Since not everything is always openly stated or spelled out, writers provide readers with hints or clues to help them read between the lines. Readers must, to properly form conclusions, gather all the details provided, such as the personalities, emotions, and motivations, the settings, time, and place, etc. When you ask a question, you use words that begin with the letter WH, such as who, where, and what. The word how frequently appears on this list. These words are frequently employed when we want to ask someone for information. Let's examine each WH word in more detail while using examples to provide context. Observe the hints supplied so that you may ascertain who is speaking, what they are doing slash plan to do, and where the conversation is occurring. This skill is based on paying attention to the clues given so that you can determine either who is speaking, what are they doing slash going to do, etc., and where is the conversation taking place. You must learn to identify this type of questions to facilitate the understanding of what is being heard. On the recording you hear, Man, thank you so much for taking care of Scrappy. Woman, don't worry, just remember to take him for a walk, and don't give him chocolate. Man, I sure will take care of him. Narrator, who's the man speaking? Answer is B. Based on the clues, he suggested to the woman to take Scrappy for a walk. After watching this video, you can move on to the practice section by following the skills mentioned in the video.